Welcome back to whatever this is. Hello. All right. Last time we, well, last time we didn't do the crazy shit. Last time we had a normal episode, but the last recording session was a bit of a fucking nightmare. Uh, <laughs> so hopefully this time will be a little bit more chill. Me hopes. Hello, Squawk. Yeah. Okay, let's go sleep. It's night time. I added for you, by the way, a few new mods. Uh, one of which being you can now, if you go to a crafting table with your oats, you can, um, when you craft it, your oat, uh, if you want to do it, um, when you craft something with multiple recipes, it will have a little thing above the output thing in the crafting table that will enable you to click it and select which one you want. So, did that work for you? Yes! Wonderful! Wonderful! Not sure what the fuck it is you've made. Just a little, little rug. Cute! Yeah. Oak, little oat rug. Let's go see. Should it be in front of the door? Or in front of our beds. I mean, once you get enough oats, it could be both. Okay, I'll just leave it out of the door for now. Yeah. Come sleep. Go, go. Okay. So, let's have a looky. I made the advancement Noel. Advancements are whip. Work in progress. The holidays are here. I added a Christmas mod because you said that I should. Um, so I did. <laughs> uh, we also now have a grave mod so that if we die, it will just drop a grave. I'm not. I didn't test what happens if you die of a backpack though. You want to kill me quick? Okay. Let me. Let me. Let's do it in front of the bed so I respawn near enough to it. Okay. Come kill me. Make it quick. <laughs> Alright. There's my grave. Okay, the backpack is in the grave. That's cool. And it said in chat, your grave has been generated at this coordinates. So that works well. Nice. Why is I? Why am I lagging when I look this way? Or is it my mouse? I'm really having trouble understanding if it's my mouse or the game, to be honest. Because my mouse lags when I'm not in the game sometimes. Whatever. Um. All right. So this episode. I would like to transfer some more of the stuff from the old house to the new house. Mm. Oh boy. Oh boy. Okay. Come on. Grippity grip. Grippity grip. Skip it, skip, skip. I've discovered that if you jump while holding a heavy chest, it negates the slow effect. <laughs> okay. So, Bobola, what are you up to? Are you farming again? Yeah, I was getting some more oats. Ah. I wish you could do something with the oat seeds, like turn it into oatmeal or something, I don't know. Yeah, it's a little weird. Okay, this is one of the chests I need to sort. Let me go get the other one. 
<sighs> okay. Ba -ba -da -ba -ba -ba. I added also for you a window and a window curtain shutters and blinds mod. Nice. Yeah, because you said about it, so I added I added it. Yes. Skipping, skipping with a chest. Gotta place it next to the door. Okay. Wonderful. Okay, I'm gonna need to chop down some more wood. Wood, wood, wood. Okay, so we need to make a chest for... Oh god. I think about it. It's a plant chest, I guess. Although we have one of those. This is more of a crop chest. This is more of like a plantable crop chest, whereas like the plant chest would involve stuff that's... Not just... Yeah. Like saplings wouldn't go in that chest, would they? Or would they? No. No, okay. So I'm just gonna make a nature chest where like flowers and saplings can go. I think that makes sense. Yes. Uh, these are mob drops. That's a rare drop. That's a rare one. Mob drop. Neutron. Mob drops. Oh, I should probably put this over. Yeah. What the fuck is that? Am I seeing shit? Possibly. Let's also finish the well. Okie dokie. I need to transfer that chest also. <laughs> Great. Alright. Uh, 
Hello, Mr. Leaky Buckball Man, how are you? Just while I get distracted. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, I think I placed it on high. The intricate teeth has glow. You see what I mean? Probably not. Oh well. Let's do it to this one too. Why not? For the experience too, cool. Spark is mighty generous. Okay. Can also be traded. Can copper rock up be used for anything? I don't think so. I'm gonna trade this to Spark. What does it mean when a trade's on cooldown with one of you fuckers? Does it just mean I have to wait a little bit, or does that mean that trade's now no longer available? Hopefully not the ladder. to make it with make some of those need two copper some string what else 
sticks and a button. Okay. Make a button. Boop, boop. Let's make some sticks. Sticks. Button. String. And two copper. Nice. Not sure where to put them both. But I made them. What'd you make? Wind chimes. Oh, nice. Not sure where to put it. That's a mob drop right there. Got a bee's nest. That's a wood, that's a wood, that's a wood. That's all good. Oh boy. Okie dokie. Uh, these are nature blocks. That's a mob drop. That's crops. That's a nature, nature. Crop. Crop. Okay. Mob drops. Stones. Nature. We need to make a chest set, don't we? Because we've got some chest pieces. Yeah. We need terracotta to make it, though. Brown. How do you get brown? I need a jungle for that, so that's not going to happen for a little bit. <sighs> okay. Um, what else we got? Redstone goes in there. What would you class a rope as? Would you class it as an item or a what? <laughs> What do you do with it? You can use it to climb up and down something, like a rope. Uh, you can turn it into like a net. Uh, um... I don't really know. How do you cook soy milk? That's you a use a pot? Um, no. I, I don't. Maybe a kettle? How do you make a kettle? Well, I, I don't know if that's how you. You have soy milk? Yeah, I made tofu and then I made soy milk. 
And it's raw, so I know. So you gotta cook it. Ooh, when you hold it, it's upside down. It looks like you need a campfire to make it, so. Nice. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Congratulations on the soy milk. I got some cooked soy milk, and I can turn it into a superfood shake if I get superfood powder in a bottle. Or I can make a chocolate bar with sugar and flour and cocoa beans. I'm happy, have that. I'm happy you're discovering how to just do stuff, because <laughs> that makes, makes it a little bit better for me. Like, you're going on the farming quest. I should add some more farm mods for you. <laughs> we gotta get cocoa beans. And we, we flour. Do. We do. We need a mill to make flour with either rice or wheat. We need to make a mill. A stick, a diorite slab, and a granite slab. Diorite and stuff is in the stone's chest. Uh, yeah, yeah I'll, I'll, I'll do that one later. Um, only because... I would have to make all the different superfood, uh, like protein powder, or veggie powder, or whatever. Yeah, that's understandable. You can make cabbage, you can make a salad, you can make wrap that requires meat. You can make the grilled salmon plate, you can make peanut salad. You can make black cod, cooked rice, black tea leaves. We don't have those. We'd have to find a tea bush somewhere. We don't have sweet potatoes, we don't have cinnamon sticks. Okay, we can't really do much with the cabbage right now. Let's see, what about... With quinoa seeds, you can make a protein powder. That's okay. good to know. With quinoa, you can make protein powder. Or seeds. Or protein powder. Okay. Aconite. With dragon's blood resin, and paper, and ectoplasm and aconite, you can make a sigil. With aconite, a hay bale, a demon heart, and vines, you can make a voodoo puppet. Well, that's the witch stuff, isn't it? And with a bottle of blood, paper, dragon's blood resin, and aconite, you can make another shrieking sigil. This one's a sentinel sigil. Let's see, with garlic, you can make an extending sigil. You can make a mending puppet. Or a cleansing sigil. How do you get bark from trees? That's a good question. It's presumably in the witch mod. Whatever that mod's called. Witchery? Bewitchment. You can make a bowl full of cornflakes or a bowl of sweet berries and milk. Or you can make a bowl full of milk with honey. Make a heavy sigil, a decay sigil, a fatigue puppet with belladonna, with corn. You can make carb powder. Okay. With mandrake root, you can make an extending sigil. You can make a druid band equivalent in the aglet trinket slot. That's kind of cool. And you can make a book of shadows. Ooh. <laughs> Do we have any books? Uh, we have the stuff to make books. We have. Uh, no, we have books somewhere. I just don't know where. Uh, we have at least a couple, because I broke some... I have no idea where all the chests that we have are in this house, so... What? We had some books. 
Oh, they're in here. Top, top left. Ooh. Ugh, you go do your witch shit. <laughs> I'll be boarding the house. Ooh, with this witchy codex, this book shall guide you through the art. Introduction. Crops, cypress trees, elder trees, juniper trees, salt, silver. I don't think we've gotten silver so far. We haven't. No. I think that's just the next thing on the list. A tadlock is yet another essential tool. It can gather an entity's hair, blood, and all things needed to establish a connection. To gather a tadlock from an entity, either sneak up from behind or search for their bed. To gather a tadlock from a bed, use it while sneaking so you don't accidentally sleep. Juniper trees. Do we have juniper trees? Uh, I don't think so. I don't think so either. You can insert up to three tag blocks into blocks made with this wood. On use, these blocks will gather tag blocks of anyone but their owner. Tag blocks are inserted while sneaking while using this, them on this block. You can gather by using an athame while sneaking. An athame is an essential tool to any witch. It can be used to gather heads from mobs, among other niche uses. Being made out of silver, it is perfectly usable against unholy creatures. Bottles of blood can be obtained by slaying a humanoid with an athame while holding a glass bottle in the offhand. So that's how you get blood. You use an athame and you hold a, a bottle in your other hand. Neat. Elder trees. This noble tree spawns in porous biome that is often associated with knowledge and intelligence. Blocks made with this wood can be locked using a silver ingot. Locked blocks can be given tag blocks to white slash blacklist certain players. The list can be toggled using an athame while sneaking. Cypress trees spawn in taiga and swamp biomes. Relating to death, blocks from it will mask you from the undead in a small area. So, does being in this house mask us from the dead since the floor is being made out of cypress? Or is it the same cypress? Because this cypress is from... I found two cypress trees. I found a terrestrial one, which is the floor, and I did find a witchery one, a bewitchment one, in this chest. We have 12 of it in this chest. The, like, the dark brown one. Hmm. Hmm. Um, yeah. Curious. Crops. You can make silver arrows, but they have a built-in smite effect. That's neat.
Yeah, it's the dark cypress. What are you looking for? A wool. Well, I guess I'm going to begin with our cotton. I accidentally turned all the cotton into wool. Oops. I made a special beds. Did you? Oh, those are not beds. <laughs> Maybe we can make a crypt underneath our house. <laughs> okay. Uh, for now, put uh, these in the building blocks chest. It's above the misc chest. Uh, let's make a new chest. Let's go reset our spawns, just in case we die. Yeah, one single second. Man, I've been organizing the entire episode. I'm nearly done. <laughs> Alright. Oh, and you can dye the inside of them. That's so cool. Even more reason to need... Green dye, I know. Green dye. It's on the list. <laughs> <laughs> or pink dye for you if you want pink. It's easier to come by. Yeah. Uh, Tag locks. Magic protection. Candelabras. Ooh, we can make candelabras. That's so cool. <laughs> I'm gonna make a witch's cauldron with silver ingots, a cauldron, and uh, bark from pretty much any tree, I think. Um, for the witch cauldron, by reinforcing a regular cauldron with silver, you can create a witch cauldron. This magical cauldron is extremely versatile in use and namely used for oil crafting. Brewing and teleportation. Ooh. Items can be tossed in the witch cauldron once it boils. Make make it boil. Place a hot block such as lava or magma blocks below it. Note that the witch cauldron requires altar power, except for oil crafting. To teleport with a witch cauldron, simply throw in an ender pearl, step on it, and say your destination. That destination must be another witch cauldron that has been named with a name tag. The cost. For teleportation is distance divided by two, assuming that you don't have someone to help you out. I don't know what that means. I don't know. Does that mean two like experience? Possibly. Ooh. You can get hellhounds. <laughs> they will respect the wares of besmirched armor. They spawn in the nether. Okay. Can get, there's ravens. They can be tamed with gold nuggets or silver nuggets and bred with wheat seeds. Mm. 
Snakes. They can be tamed with raw rabbit and bred with raw chicken. Werewolf. Tiger and icy biomes. Heavy, heavily weak to smite, so we need some silver tipped arrows. When the sun rises, they turn back into their human form. Toads. Found in jungles and swamps. When killed, drop slime balls. Tamed with fermented spider eyes and bred with normal spider eyes. Vampires, masters of the night, few weaknesses, known to attack humans, so equip yourself against them with fire or smite. So that's why you couldn't kill them super easily. Owls spawn in forests and taigas, tamed with raw rabbit, bred with raw chicken. Ghosts. Drop back plasm, short lived curses. Okay, squats, copper trades, regeneration. That's good. Oh boy. Oh boy, oh boy. Oh. Hey, Squark, I need some copper balls. Hey. One second. Take a look at this. What did you. Oh, you gave me a book of shadows. Oh. I have never been able to do these types of mods, so I more power to you if you can. <laughs> yeah. I just look at that hey, and I go. Yeah. I'm getting a call. One second. Okay. So I guess I will continue this. Actually, I'm going to wrap up this episode. So, um, thank you all so much for watching me go crazy sorting the chests while um, Oliver hyperfixated on witch shit. So thank you all so much for watching this episode. I managed to finally organize quite a few of these chests. So see you next time. Bye bye.